Strange lights descend on the city of Los Angeles, drawing people outside like moths to the flame, where an extraterrestrial force awaits to suck every last person off the face of the planet. Hello again, I am Blunty, and that is pretty much the plot to a new movie coming out soon called Skyline. Reports are coming in. Every major city in the world is experiencing the same encounter. They're everywhere. The further we get out of the city, the better off we are. He's right. We have no idea what they're capable of. Run! Looks like one of those big Hollywood, huge budget action thriller, popcorn munching, explodey, awesome adventure thingies filled with stunning effects to make you go ooh, ah. But the thing is, it isn't. This film was made without any assistance from any of the major studios, and it was made within a year. It went from blank page to cinema screen in less than a year. Do you know who Greg and Colin Strauss are? Chances are you haven't heard of the Brothers Strauss, but I will bet you each set of eyeballs that are watching this video right now will have seen their work, and lots of their work. So let's see the list. The Brothers Strauss have been responsible for visual effects in Avatar, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, you know that one where he aged backwards, uh, X-Men 3, Wolverine, Terminator 3, 2012, Wanted, The Day After Tomorrow, 300, and a hell of a lot more. Now granted, if I'm honest, not all of those movies are great movies. Some of them aren't even good movies, but they all have one thing in common. Stunning visual effects. Doing things you've never seen done before. Smashing expectations of what was thought possible with visual effects. That's what the Brothers Strauss are best at. But as it turned out, Greg and Colin weren't satisfied with doing some of the most amazing visual effects work that Hollywood has seen in recent years. No, they wanted to strike out on their own. They had their own ideas and they wanted to do them their own way without interference from the big studios and a whole bunch of executive types. You know, the, you know the types, the executives, the studio executives that so often just, you know, have played a hand in ruining what otherwise could have been an awesome movie. So the Brothers Strauss freed themselves, and now they're doing their own thing. Skyline was completely financed by the Brothers Strauss themselves. They made it with their own money. They made it with their own equipment. They made a lot of it in their own condo building. They made it with their own hand-picked, carefully selected team, and a small team it was too, of what I can only assume are some kind of movie-making magic magicians, or wizards, movie wizards, or wizards, if you will. No, that's stupid. That sounds ridiculous. There are over 800 visual effects shots in Skyline. That's more than what most big blockbuster Hollywood action movies have from the major studios. You know, the summer blockbusters that are supposed to make us all run out to the theatres and see them and go, ho, ho, ho! This has more. More of it. Lots more. Now, I must be honest, I have not seen this film yet myself. I will do as soon as humanly possible because it looks really intriguing. So I can't tell you if it's going to be more than just your effects-laden, popcorn-munching, turn-your-brain-off kind of film. But what I can say is I'm, I'm excited to go see it. The trailer looks interesting, and above all else, I want to be supportive of the Brother Strauss who have just done something incredibly ballsy and just struck out on their own, and that should be supported. That should be celebrated. That is a big friggin deal. I mean independent filmmaking isn't dying it's only getting stronger because now independent filmmakers have access to amazing equipment for relatively tiny prices. I mean like the red camera which Skyline was shot on that's you know anybody can get their hands on that any schmo can go out and rent one of those from one of the rental houses or with a little bit more money you can buy one yourself it's not a ridiculous amount of money for this camera and it's an amazing camera you can do amazing things with it and the brother Strauss apparently have done amazing things with it so it's it's exciting for independent filmmakers is in this day and age with the technology we have with the skill sets that people have it's astoundingly exciting and to see this kind of big bright dark moody explodey sci-fi action thriller come out of a couple of guys doing it on their own with a tiny team of people made it in less than a year on their own budget it's <laughs> it's a stunning thing and i personally feel a deep honest need to rush out and see this film and hope that it's an amazing success to just put another mark in the road for independent filmmakers 
In Australia, it opens on cinema screens on November the 11th. Mark it in your calendar. If you're somewhere else in the world, punch it into Google and find out where it's showing where you are. You're not an idiot. You can find this stuff out on your own. But I'm excited about it because it looks like it's going to be a pretty cool flick. It, it strikes me as Independence Day without all the stupid. And Strauss Brothers, if, you, if you're watching this, feel free to use that on the movie poster, on the back of the DVD when it comes out. <laughs> Skyline. It's Independence Day, but without all the stupid. Alrighty then, thanks for watching. If you have been intrigued by Skyline, by the way, and the Brother Strauss and what they're up to, I do have an interview coming up with them, so keep your eye out for that soon. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm Blunty, and I'll catch you next time. are coming in. Every major city in the world is experiencing the same encounter. They're everywhere. The further we get out of the city, the better off we are. He's right. We have no idea what they're capable of. Run!